Kia ora, it's midday. Closed books. Why the majority of the primary health providers aren't taking on new patients. And more details emerge of the proposed restructure and cuts at TVNZ. Plus, the realistic new facility to help police prepare for everyday scenarios. Meetings have taken place to discuss the future of some of this country's longest running and highest profile television programs. TVNZ is undertaking a company wide restructure to make the business, in its words, sustainable. Kim Baker Wilson is with me now. Morena Kim, Kia ora Kim, what's happened this morning? Well, uh, out in the newsroom, uh, a lot of hugs and some tears. Meetings with staff have been underway throughout this morning. We remember they were told or found out that there were going to be some meetings. Those meetings have taken place this morning and really terrible bad news for some of them coming out of those meetings. Sunday program, that lovely program we know with such a long and rich history of fierce storytelling. The proposal is for that to go completely. You might remember yesterday there was some talk of maybe this program could merge with this program, Fairgo and Sunday, maybe they could come together. But the proposal is at this stage for all of Sunday to go. Fair Go has been in line for meetings as well. We're just waiting for word officially of what's happening there. Uh, we understand that this programme, the Midday News, is also looking to go. The next stage from here is for all of the news and current affairs staff to come together. There is a meeting uh, in a little under an hour's time at one o'clock. It is then that the wider staff should be given an outline. It will be laid out what the changes are. We will be speaking to the Television New Zealand Chief Executive later on this afternoon. We'll bring you what she has to say and more about what is happening with our programmes and our people in the news hour at six. Kim Baker Wilson, thank you very much for the update. And police believe one person has died in a house fire in South Taranaki this morning. Fire and emergency were first alerted to the blaze at a property in the town.